Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a new solar system being formed. NASA scientists are for the first time observing what they think is the creation of a star and solar system. The evolving star, 10,000 light years from Earth, is surrounded by a great glowing disk of gas. Scientists think this gas will eventually condense and form planets. We know for certain, for instance, that for some reason, for some time in the beginning, there were hot lumps. Cold and lonely, they whirled noiselessly through the black holes of space. Peter Waller is the information officer at NASA's Ames Research Center in California. Stars generally are supposed to form from gas clouds that condense due to gravity. And all these gas clouds are, are rotating, and their rotation flattens them out into a kind of pancake. And, and while this is going on, they also get more dense, and finally the gravity force at the center of the cloud is so great, the pressure is so great that it starts a nuclear burning, and then you've got a star. Come together, right now, over me. There are many theories on how solar systems are born. Most of them center around the idea of condensing gas clouds. The evolution of the system now under observation is going on so fast, scientists will probably get a chance to actually see which of these theories holds up. Is it so? Is it so? I never wanted to be a star. At its present rate of change, the system's evolution should be complete in only 100 years. A good friend of mine studies the stars. Venus and Mars are all right tonight. Although the event has astronomers excited, it's hardly a rare one. Astronomers estimate there are literally billions of solar systems, but you can't blame the scientists for getting excited about actually watching one move into the neighborhood. Ben Manila, on the News Blimp.